I'm back once again with another video. And today, this is gonna be a quick video answering a question that somebody asked. I actually have videos that show you how to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, jump right into it and um, show how it works with this certain press that the person asked about. All right, so we're gonna roll the press on over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And um, the question that I was asked was about pressure, the heat press pressure. Now, when you're pressing certain things, um, the, if you're using like vinyl or DTF or sublimation, whatever different type of item you're going to be pressing, they require different pressures. So the pressure is uh, what's going to make sure that whatever you're printing works properly. So if you're printing with vinyl, HTV, and you don't have the pressure, high enough, it could peel, you know, so it's all these things that you have to take into account, which um, those of y'all that's been doing this probably know, but some of y'all are new, so I'm going to kind of explain it to you, okay? In the video that I did before, I actually have a couple of videos, how, if you don't have a pressure gauge on your heat press, how do you figure out the pressure? I have videos on that, so we're not gonna go over that. I'm just gonna talk about this heat press because this was what the question was about, okay? So, so on here, um, if I can show it to you, hopefully I can show it to y'all. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Right here, and I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it. I don't wanna, I guess I'll go ahead and take it off. I didn't want to have to take my camera off of the tripod, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that for my subscribers and people who hopefully will subscribe if they not subscribed already. Okay, so right here, you see it's zero, it says zero pressure. Okay, so let me see. I don't know because it's heating. Right there, it's telling you that it's heating up and how long it's gonna to take to heat up. So I don't know what the pressure is on, on that. So I'm gonna uh, hold up for just a minute. And uh, let me see. All right, so basically, I'm gonna just go to something and kind of show y'all. Okay, I'm gonna I'm go on here, go to my menu, and I'm gonna just choose thermofilm. Okay, I'm just going to have to wait because it don't tell you what the pressure is. The pressure is up here. And right now the pressure is zero. But once I close it, the pressure is going to change. So it's on, it's on over the limit. So that means it's very high pressure right there. It's very high pressure. My bad. But when, once this thing heats up, it'll tell you what pressure it's supposed to be on up there. So like if I decrease the pressure, which I'm gonna go left, turn it left. And you saw it was over the limit earlier. So now it's on one, it's a one pressure. And see the pressure is red right there. The pressure is, is uh, red because that's the wrong pressure right there, if y'all can see it. When it's right, it won't be red. It'll just be a regular color. Okay, so. Um, that's the pressure right there. So that's pressing with nothing on there. So I'm gonna throw this t-shirt hoodie on there. Let me put this back on on here. But y'all see, y'all see what I'm talking about. The pressure, it'll tell you what pressure it's supposed to be up here. But I just turned this heat press on just so that I could do this video. But at the top, it tells you that it's 17 minutes remaining until it warms up. I'm not gonna wait 17 minutes, y'all, to do this little short video. But it does have the pressure it's supposed to be up at the top. And then once you, it, it'll tell you heavy or whatever pressure. And then, you know, you have one through, one through seven, I guess, maybe one through 10. I don't remember. I keep it pretty much on the same thing because I'm mostly printing t-shirts. I'm not really printing a lot of uh, like sublimation blanks and items like uh, plaques and stuff like that. I'm not really printing a lot of those. I'm mostly printing t-shirts, hoodies. So I'm mostly keeping it on the same temp. And with the t-shirts, I, if I can press it with the t-shirt, sometimes I just use a little more force so that I can do it with the, um, with the hoodie. Okay, so like it's on zero right now. And y'all just gonna take my word for it because I don't have a cameraman here today. I really don't have a cameraman, but sometimes I can get people to film, but I don't have anybody here today. So right here, when I, when I press on this shirt, it's still pretty light. 
it's saying a two. It's on two when I got this, uh, this shirt on here. So when I put something thicker on here, like this hoodie, when I put this hoodie on here, it's going to say a completely different thing because this hoodie is thick. It's way thicker. Oh. Okay, so right here, this video, I'm, this video, I'm sorry, y'all, interruptions. This uh, hoodie is very thick, so one, even though it's saying one and two, when I press it, it's on five now with the hoodie because how thick the hoodie is. So it does not, it don't really tell you the pressure. Like when I turn this knob, it don't tell me what pressure I'm on. But once I press the item, then right there where I was showing you earlier where it had the zero pressure, it will, it will uh, change the pressure on that. So that's, that's how that works right there. So it does not tell you what pressure it is. Like when you're turning it, it don't tell you what pressure it is, but you can turn it and you know, you can close it. Put, put something like what you're going to be pressing under it and you can, you know, close it. Okay, that's on five. Okay, that's not enough or that's too much. So I have to adjust it and close it again. Now it's on three. So, you know, that's, that's basically how that works. And uh, hopefully I answered your question. And if anybody else has any other questions, let me know. And I will either do a video on them or answer them in the comment section. But I appreciate y'all, and, and I'm still trying to do this uh, video every single day, still trying to put a video up every single day until I can't no more. So, and, and I will soon be uh, posting on other channels. I have some videos filmed for the other channels, but I, I wanna get a few of them filmed in a row so that I can you know continuously do this like how I did with this. I had a few of them filmed, and I just sat down and edited, and now I'm just throwing this one in and, and then I'll get back on my regular with the other ones. But I appreciate y'all watching and until next time, be blessed.